Hey everybody. So this video has to do about this company right here. NC Quick Pass. Can't really make out the transponder, but that's my transponder that I use for any time I'm in toll lanes or a toll road. So I've had a transponder account with NC Quick Pass for about three years now, going on four or something like that. I got my account shortly after the I-77 Express lanes opened up. And let me tell you guys about something that happened back a couple weeks ago. One night I was leaving work, coming home, and there's a certain segment that I use on the express lanes at night because it's cheap, it's like 50 cent. It allows me to get straight off at a Hambright Road instead of having to get off at the uh, next exit and have to go through a bunch of different traffic lights and all that mess going past North Lake Mall. And as mentioned, it, char it normally costs like 50 cents. Sometimes it costs a dollar if I'm getting out of work a little earlier at night. Um, so this one night it was a dollar to get into the express lines at Lakeview Road and either get off a of Hambright Road at the direct exit or get back into I-77 at Gilead Road. And instead of being charged one dollar, I was charged ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Yes, one hundred dollars, one hundred times the posted toll rate. How does this happen? So again, as I stated, I was charged $99.99 for what should have been a $1 toll charge. I noticed something wasn't right when I received an email from NC Quick Pass stating that there was a $20 payment made to my transponder account. The way it works is my transponder account will auto-reload itself when the balance gets below $10. It'll add $20 to the balance, which is enough to cover me for at least a month or a month and a half right now based on my usage here lately. So I knew for a fact something wasn't right because like a week prior um, the account had reloaded itself. So I logged into the account and the first thing I saw was my account balance was negative $54. I'm like, what? So I look at my transactions and I see a toll charge uh, which took place for $99.99 when it should have been one dollar and then there was the toll charge for the following night which was 50 cent which that was the regular that was the correct price so i'm thinking to myself okay something is definitely wrong here so i immediately submit a toll dispute you can do that from the website um, when you log into your account you check the box um, to submit for a dispute and i said in the comments on the dispute that the sign read one dollar not 99.99 and the thing is, they, they only let you put like 255 characters into the comments, so they don't really give you much opportunity to really explain the situation. But I think um, it was enough to be clear enough that, hey, something's definitely not right here. So, I've done this the following Friday, and I'll have to put the dates up here in the video because I don't remember off the top of my head. But, um, so Friday I submitted a total dispute, and I went to the NC Quick Pass office that's here in the Charlotte area, paid him a little visit and I asked I, said, I was like okay what's going on here how does this happen and let me tell you the uh, the customer service representative they were kind of just they were they were just puzzled over this $99 or $100 charge and I'm like how does this happen I mean luckily I don't live paycheck to paycheck but imagine somebody who's living paycheck to paycheck and let's say they're driving along I-77 and it's uh, 8.30 at night and they want to um, bypass some traffic on the way home. And they see this sign that says $1 to get off at a direct exit instead of having to get off at the main exit and, and go through a half dozen or so traffic lights on your way home. They get off at that exit and they get home and then later they realize they were billed $100. They're like. That's money they could use to, you know, buy groceries or pay utility bill for goodness sakes. I mean, a hundred dollars. Put this perspective. This hundred dollar charge that NC Quick Pass uh, charged me was more than my electric bill this month. So to put that in perspective, um, 
It's totally unacceptable that they would let this happen. And the I-77 express lanes, they're ran by a um, private company known as I-77 Mobility Partners, which is owned by Centra. So, Centra, or I-77 Mobility Partners, is the one who manages the lanes and sets the toll rates and all that stuff. So, apparently, something happened between them and, and the North Carolina Turnback Authority. Something happened. You know, they're saying something happened. But it's totally unacceptable that this something had happened. I mean, a hundred dollars or nine nine ninety nine. It would cost less than that in the worst case scenario to drive the entire was it twenty three or twenty six miles of of toll lanes. So as of today, it's been a week since I submitted a toll dispute and since I went to the uh, local NC Quick Pass office and inquired about the situation, and I have not heard a single thing back. When I was at the office last Friday, a week ago, um, I was told that the dispute process would take about 10 days. Okay. I called NC Quick Pass on the phone today, and kind of like before, the representative was kind of um, shocked that I was charged $99.99. But of course, there was nothing she could do about it, same as the representative at the office last week. The thing is, they, they don't give the representatives enough access to things to make things right for customers. Obviously something is wrong when someone gets charged $99.99. This is what happens when you have a system that's totally automated, driven by AI, with no human um, oversight. So think of it like this. So when this happened, it put my account balance in the red. Monday of this week, I got an email from NC Quick Pass stating that um, I had negative balance and that my account was suspended and that in order to get it unsuspended, I would need to pay all unpaid tolls and that I couldn't even use the HOV option on the, on the express lanes on 27. See, if you have a transponder, you can use HOV and ride the toll lanes for free if you have three or more people in the vehicle. But if your account balance, if your account is suspended, you're not eligible for that. And also, any subsequent toll charges are billed at the bill by mail rate and not the transponder rate that you see on the signs. And worse is when you have a negative balance uh, with NC Quick Pass, they can and will put a hold on your registration. That way you can't renew your vehicle's registration. They can also tack on additional fees and charges, which are hard to get off. They can also send the amount to collections. So I wasn't having any of that because, I mean, I have a good I have good credit and I don't want to hurt my credit. So I freaking paid the negative balance. It cost me $70 and something because you had to pay the negative balance plus $20 for the replenishment amount. So you ended up doing that. And here I am still waiting on an answer from NC Quick Pass and I-77 Express. This is totally unacceptable. And I think that the public needs to be aware that if you have an NC Quick Pass account, you best better take a look at it regularly. Check it. Regularly check it. Because what should have been a 50 cent toll charge or a $1 toll charge could be a $50 toll charge or a $100 toll charge. I mean, look, it happened to me. So if it happened to me, it can happen to you. So as I said, totally unacceptable by this company and again NC Quick Pass and I-77 Mobility Partners they need to figure this out and not let this happen again I'll be posting a new video once I have any updates and I'll end this video with the phone conversation I had with NC Quick Pass today I recorded it so anyways here you go Yes, give me just a second here. Let me get that for you. Um, let me see here. Account number is... You're speaking with... Call me Nick. Yes, it's a... The phone number is... 
Yeah, so back um, a couple weeks ago when I was using the I-77 Express lanes, um, this actually occurred, let me see here, I'm going to pull up the transaction. It occurred on October 4th, 2023, um, actually no, excuse me, October 3rd, 2023 at 8.15 p.m. The sign read $1, yet I was charged on my transponder account $99.99. .99. Yes, and I put in a, I, I submitted a toll dispute last week, a, a week ago from this date, and I have not heard anything back. Okay. Um, I do see the charge for ninety nine dollars. Oh wow, that's Yeah. I am like, how does this happen? It put so I mean let me let me tell you. For example, I had this account set to all mac replenishment and um despite that, the only way I knew about this happening was Friday of last week I saw an unexpected twenty dollar payment to my transponder account. I log in, I see my balance is negative fifty four dollars. And I, I got an email um, last Monday stating uh, that my account has been suspended. I must pay all unpaid tolls. And I just, for the heck of it, I just went ahead and paid the negative balance to get it back out of the red. So, I mean, $100, that's a lot of money. For, I mean, I, luckily, I don't live paycheck to paycheck. But for someone who lives paycheck, pay, um, paycheck to paycheck, that would be a ridiculous amount of money to just suddenly have to deal with over a simple mistake. I don't know if it happened on y'all's end or if it happened on I-77 Mobility Partners' end, but that's totally unacceptable. Yeah, you're right about that. So, um, and I did do a system look up, Mr. Nick, while you were um, speaking. I found no other accounts, no other balances. So, yeah, so your case is still, um, basically still in progress. So, um, it could take up to 30 days. Okay. As I say, I do see that charge. So, um, you could definitely, you know, just call in from time to time to keep an eye on it. And I see it did happen on I-77. Seven, so it's probably going to have to go further into the investigation because I don't know yeah. it I never had seen anything like that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, matter of fact, this evening I'm going to be contacting WBTV News because uh, this is totally unacceptable. And it's not your fault. It's just how can something like this happen? The public needs to be aware that if they use, that if they use any toll facility in North Carolina that this can apparently happen. <laughs> right, yeah, you're right about that. To get charged... Okay. So yes, once your case is reviewed, um, someone will be reaching out to you via, um, you know, your phone number or your email address. So this, you definitely should keep an eye on it. Okay. All right. I appreciate All right. it. All right. And I'm so sorry that it's happening to you, Mr. Nick. So hopefully they get it taken care of soon. But other than that, um, how else may I see you? Um, that's it. I mean, I think they need to implement some sort of system to prevent erroneous charges like this from happening. I mean, I can understand if I was overcharged maybe double or triple, but to be charged 100 times the posted toll rate is just unheard of. Right, right, yeah. And I, I understand. I get it. You're right. All right. So you enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you for calling your secret All right. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. See, that's just it. Um, they tell you that uh, there's nothing they can do. You have to wait for the dispute process to conclude. When I was at the office Friday of last week, they told me it would take uh, 10 days. Now I'm here in 30 days. It's like, what is it? What gives? How does this happen? That's what I want answers on. This is totally unacceptable. So anyways, as you've seen, I... Um I kept my cool. I didn't get super upset with the representative because obviously there's not much she could do. It's a shame that her company won't let the representatives be able to handle situations like this. I literally was told that I have to wait out up to 30 days for this toll dispute to conclude. And they said because it was on the I-77 express lanes, because the express lanes are operated by a private party and not the NC Turnpike Authority. I was told 
that it could take longer for them to finish their investigation. So, the thing is, even though, obviously to them, something went wrong, I should not have been charged $100, I still have to wait out the 30 days before I get my money back. You know, they could refund the money and then do their little investigation because obviously something went bad wrong. I mean, the toll charge should have been a dollar, not $100. So, anyways, as I mentioned, um, I'll post an update video once I can. And I do plan to actually talk to my local TV news about this because the public needs to be aware of this. Anybody who has an account with this company, NC Quick Pass, they need to be aware of this. So, anyways... Have you enjoyed this video? Thanks for watching.